show you how to use a product called Pano 2 VR to unwrap your image into a box and then we can add a Nadir file to the bottom of it. It's a feature that's no longer available and it used to be available with Autodesk Stitcher. So if you can't have Stitcher then we're going to show you how to take this nasty little black hole here in the bottom of your virtual tour and we're going to actually show you how to open it, unwrap it into Pano 2 VR and then we're going to manually add a cool graphic by using Adobe Photoshop. So first things first, we take our um, PT GUI pano and we drag it over here and you can see there's the thumbnail image and there's my nasty little black hole here in the bottom that I want to cover up with an ADR file graphic. No big deal here. Over here, just choose transformation. That's very important. We don't want anything else here. Just choose transformation. Then we're going to click the convert input button. Not hard to do at all, right? So let's punch it, convert input. Vertical strip is wrong. We're going to choose the vertical cross or horizontal cross. Either one's fine with me. The other settings for cube face size, everything else, just leave them alone as defaults. Everything here looks pretty good. So we're going to go vertical cross, check the size, check TIFF, check and select. Yeah, it's already been set up for you, so don't worry about that. So just simply click the convert button. And that's pretty much it. It takes a couple of seconds and uh, your image will get converted to this box. See, like we have over here. So now that this virtual tour panel has been unwrapped kind of like a box, we now have the bottom. That's actually something we can work with inside Adobe Photoshop because the image is no longer distorted. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go find my image, which has been sent to my little folder over here. And we've got Bart's office plane, as you can see. Um, it looks a lot like a vertical cross. That's why they call it uh, vertical cross, because it looks like a vertical cross. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and uh, verify that is the bottom part of my unwrapped box panorama. And we're going to drag this into Adobe Photoshop. And we're going to move this up a little bit here. So as you can see, we've got the uh, bottom part of my tripod legs. Now, if you want, you can clone that floor and we don't need a graphic nadir file. That's how people do it. So I won't bother teaching you how to do that part since you already should know that part of Adobe Photoshop. What I am gonna teach you is how to take a nadir file, which I've got over here called Big Nadir, and it's already on a transparent background. It's about you know 550, 600 pixels wide. It's a big file. So we're gonna copy this to my clipboard and I'm going to paste and oh no it's not big enough oh no so that's not a problem we can go over to uh, edit and I'm going to scale it just a little bit about 30 40 percent here and transform scale hold your shift key down and that looks kind of good see ta-da we can cover up the entire tripod feet now so my nadir file is in place now you don't want to flatten this image. We want to make sure we merge the two layers down. So let's go find our window that actually shows layers. And that's hiding over here to the right. So let's go grab that over here. Okay, here we go. And all we're gonna do is click over here and we're gonna merge one down. Don't flatten it. Now notice we got the little gray white, gray white checkerboard square inside the thumbnail image for your layer. That's cool, we wanna keep that. And over here, of course, we still have the right gray, uh, right gray checkerboard square, so we gotta keep that. So we just hit save, that's all we're doing. And we're gonna go back now to our little friend, and we're going to see that, yep, it's a cross image, and we're going to open up the same image that we just saved, which was that image, Bart's Office Plane Cube, and it says cross, and don't change that. All we gotta do is just click that OK button, and you'll see this change over here on my left. That black hole will be gone. And when I click the OK button, presto changeo. See, there it is. We now have this cool nadir file where you want it. So OK, we're all done. We have visual confirmation, Houston. We can see the nadir file. So we have that done. All right, what's next, Bart? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. All right, we're gonna go to convert input. Choose equirectangular by default. That's a mistake. Make sure it's 6,000 pixels wide. Pay attention to that. We don't want 
5,996 pixels because that won't work when you upload that to the VPix back office. Okay, check, 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 check. We don't need to hit select there. All we gotta do is just click the convert button. Everything looks good, Houston. We are good for liftoff. All right, Houston, we have orbit. Ta-da, see we're all finished. And as you can see over here, we got visual confirmation that we have this little stretch nadir covering up that nasty black hole we once had. So that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hit quit. We do not hit save. Make sure you don't hit save. And we're going to open this now in Photoshop one more time. So I'm going to close this image. And I'll probably leave that one open for now. But uh, let's go back to my Bart's office plain cube. Equi, see, that's the file that we just modified with our Nadir file. And let's go make this a little bit smaller so we can have visual reference that we have the Nadir file on the bottom. And of course we do. That's it. All you got to do at this point is let's make sure we don't upload a 51 megabyte file to VPix. That's going to choke your friends' iPhones and iPads. It won't work. Oh no. So that's too big. So we have to go to File and hit Save for web. That will uh, reduce uh, your file a little bit. It'll strip out the 32K uh, picked preview and you'll get this nasty message. Don't worry about it. Just click the yes button here. And we're going to basically choose JPEG medium. Um, 35, 40% sounds fine. Pay attention over here. 1.2 meg is where I want to keep it. 1.32 meg is not bad. So all you got to do is just hit save. It'll save your actual file. Shorten it a little bit so it says, you know, something 360. And then you can upload your JPEGs to VPix and you can start having fun with hotspots. That's it. The internet is once again your friend.